What's up people on YouTube, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing my third custom build here in the scooter shed with my scooters. As you guys can already see from the thumbnail and title of this video, we're going to be making like a, a blacked out with a galaxy deck. So it's looking pretty cool, I've got all the parts right down there. And yeah, let's just get right into the build. So for the bars, I've got VX6 bars in black with black ODI grips. I spray painted over these bars, just a quick one just to make it look nice and black. Then for the wheels, I've got these blacked out MGP VX6 wheels that I spray painted. Uh, it's an alright job. If you guys want to know how to spray paint your scooter parts, like always, go check out uh, one of my latest videos where I go over just showing you guys how to spray paint your scooter parts the correct way, in my opinion. And for the forks, we've got Maggear MFX forks in black. Uh, as again, 120mm brakes since we do have 120mm wheels. And the only thing that isn't mag gear on this uh, complete scooter is this district clamp right here that I think, I'm not too sure I left it here, I think it might have been the bro Sean McFarlane, but I don't know. And then I just spray painted a, a cover dust cap for the, yeah, for the headset. Just, uh, what are these? FSA headset bearings, sealed, a shim, one of these things, and just normal mag gear VX6 axles. And finally, for the deck, we've got this awesome Infinity Mag Gear VX6 deck. Uh, sometimes I call it a Galaxy, so if I call it a Galaxy deck throughout this video, it's pretty much the same as an Infinity. But yeah, I really like the look of these decks. I've had one of these before, but this one here, I'm just trying to keep it looking spick and span because I want to be able to put it up in the ball, and it, yeah, it just looks really nice. But I'm going to be doing a build with it for you guys today. So I said Mag Gear MFX forks in black. Put the, oh, wrong bearing. So we're just tightening up the headset now. It's looking pretty good. Some of the black rubbed off there, unfortunately, because it was Plasti Dip spray paint. And what Plasti Dip spray paint is, it's kind of like a, you know, a rubber, a rubber spray paint coating type thing. But yeah, spinning really nice. Oh, but it's still a bit loose. Just really tightening her up. There we go. So a quick look at it now, so one of the things I really like about these Infinity decks is that none of them are the same, they're all completely different to each other, so like, it's different there and then it has a bit more colour over there and so if I compare it to my old one over here, yeah the colours are just completely different, like this is more of a purpley blue, this is more of like a, a reddy colour there. So as again a really cool feature that you know Mag is pulled off. Also make sure to let me know if you guys are enjoying these custom builds because they're really easy for me to do, especially that I can't ride right now. But I'll give you guys a quick update on my ankle. Uh, my ankles actually, they are feeling a lot better. I should be able to start riding like Instagram clips and all of that within the next two weeks. Uh, my ankles took a bit longer than I thought to heal because I wasn't able to properly uh, rest them since I was at work the whole time. Alright, now it's time to put the back brake on. As again, 120mm mag gear, one piece brake and plastic. I'm not putting grip tape on the scooter deck because as I said before, I kind of want to keep this deck looking, you know, in, in pristine condition because I really like it and I just want to be able to have it there. And I don't think you guys need to know what it looks like with grip tape because it's pretty obvious. It's just, I'll put clear grip tape on just because it looks cool. Alrighty, so both of the wheels are on. It's looking so much better than I thought. Uh, yeah, I really love the look of the, the just the black and then this Infinity deck. So as I said before, it's a district uh, clamp. I'm not too sure if it has a name for it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it is district. Uh, it has a special way to go, but I'm just going to go with this way. Oh, does it fit on oversized bars? Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah, these district clamps go really well with the Maggear bars because if you say... 
with the Maggie and knuckle clamps ones that come on the VX6, they aren't that high, so the bars are more likely to snap and then, yeah, they're more likely to snap because the clamp isn't high enough. And for the bolts for the clamp, they're just some, you know, shitty little silver ones. Now it's time to jump you guys down onto the floor so I can put the bars on and give you guys a drop test. Oh damn. So unfortunately the headset's not dialed but that's just because I didn't tighten it properly. So yeah you can tighten it properly and it will be dialed. Trust me because the back wheel is on tight. It's just the headset that's loose. So yeah just imagine when I drop it it sounds dialed. So there you go. So here we have it. The blacked out with the infinity deck. Really cool scooter. If you guys want to get a scooter just like this, make sure to go over to mozzyscooters.com. You can get every single part you need there, uh, except these black on black mag gear wheels. But if you do want to get them, you can buy, you know, black. You can get wheels with black urethane, get a can of spray paint, and go watch my video on how to spray paint your scooter parts, and then you can spray paint your wheels black, just like mine. Uh, you, this clamp, I'm pretty sure you can get it from Scooter Pro or just somewhere like that if you are yeah, interested, or Scooter Hut somewhere, you know, even like that. So I'll just go through it once again for you guys. So I've got black ODI grips with black VX6 bars, a black district clamp, uh, Crunk K2 headset, MFX forks, VX6 deck, Infinity, 120mm uh, wheels, 120mm brake, and here's a quick little video of what it looks like.